Ever since we first looked up at the skies, we have asked a question. How does the sun shine for so long? Why hasn't it stopped? How has it not burned through the fuel? It wasn't until the 1900s that we found the answer. Scientists said the sun is filled with lots of elements. They're quite light and busy. They're constantly fusing. They're slamming together and making heavier elements. And this process creates energy, vast amounts of it. And this fuels the stars. It keeps the sun alive. And this means that our sun has its own personal store of energy. It is inexhaustible. So obviously, this is what humans ask next. What if this energy could be tapped? Even better, what if we could replicate this store of energy? Better still, what if we could create a working star here on Earth? Ambitious, right? Well, it would have sounded flat out impossible if we weren't already inching closer to it. I'm talking about nuclear fusion. It falls in the same league as 6G internet and advanced AI. Nuclear fusion is the next big thing in global tech and it promises the sun. Well, an artificial sun. It is basically a device, a reactor, and it can replicate the sun's insides. It can create nuclear fusion. China has won an artificial sun reactor. It is a machine with a funny name and a funny shape. It is called Tokamak, and it looks like a giant metal donut. It uses extreme heat and pressure to create nuclear fusion. And this time, when the machine zapped to life, it fused atoms and set a new world record. Well, the reactor broke its own record. In 2023, it burned at 100 million degrees Celsius for 403 seconds. Think 70,000 ovens running for about seven minutes together. That's how hot the reactor got. But this time, it doubled this output. The reactor burned at 100 million degrees Celsius for an unprecedented 1,066 seconds, which is 17 minutes and 46 seconds. And this is a major milestone. You see, nuclear fusion is called the holy grail of energy. It can provide limitless energy. It can make our rockets faster. It can boost cancer research. It can power electric grids. And it comes with efficiency. We cannot even fathom. Fusion releases 4 million times more energy than burning coal, oil, or gas. But there is no greenhouse emission. There is no radioactive waste. So long story short, nuclear fusion is the answer to our energy problems. It is also our climate change solution. But there's a catch. It is extremely hard to achieve. You need to heat a puff of gas, heat it to unimaginable temperatures, Hold on to this heat, do it for long enough, do it with high enough pressure, hold it steady, make sure your machine survives the pummeling, but make sure that it has the energy to work. It is all very tricky. So progress is slow, but scientists have kept at it. For 70 years now, a few nations have been working on this, like the US, France, Russia, South Korea, Japan, India, and China. Then there are the private players. Fusion startups are cropping up all over the world. Big names and investors like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Vinod Khosla are funding them. Hundreds of billions of dollars are at stake here. Countries are racing to make fusion history. But why are they doing it? To save us from climate change? To bring electricity to our homes? Of course not. It is the usual. They're doing it to make more money. Mastering fusion promises wealth and influence to whichever nation tames it first. The US was among the world's first to make a move in this futuristic space, but now, if there is a big fish in the fusion pond, it is China. Beijing is pouring the big bucks into creating the sun, about $1.5 billion every year for years now. By comparison, the United States spends about $800 million. And while the US designs cutting edge took a marx. China makes them faster and better by copying these American blueprints. Basically, what we are seeing play out with artificial intelligence is silently also happening with nuclear fusion. Beijing is beating Washington at its own game, while other nations are scrambling to catch up. Over the past decade, China's fusion patents have surged. It has more patents than any other country. It has broken one record after another, so credit where it's due. But this comes with growing unease. 
Because in the future, whoever controls fusion energy will control the world, and no one wants it to be China, except China. We're calling this show Vantage. We hope you like what we put together for you. Routed as the minimum. Think of that video. India's neighbors were the first to send this special edition of Vantage live from the White House throughout the city. Yes, Hindu Mandir in Puranavi to Tel Aviv. Pretty measure, but it's also the perfect way to drive. I don't think the Prime Minister of Bhutan sharing Tagwe. Well, welcome to 60% of the world's office. Prime Minister Modi did the iron. We were actually. What are you doing? How do you like? It's been one year since that meeting. Iron bars separate you from the outside. Out the vote effort. It's Trump hat. It says and at 4.3 trillion dollars, 4.3 300 billion by 2030. That's what we need to tackle climate change.